Spoilers for Danganronpa 1, 2, and V3. Welcome to part 10 of the Danganronpa V3 blind play. Today we're going to see if Kaede and Shuichi spot the mastermind coming mm -hmm. to the bookcase. But well, now we wait for the mastermind to show themselves. Okay. There's still some time left. Do you want to go see anybody? No. Um, um, okay. No. I'd rather focus on the plan. Besides, I'm sure everyone else is safe. And, you know, <laughs> I'm sure nobody's, like, in some situation that would be worth checking out right now. Plus, once we get out of here, I'll have all the time in the world to see them. <laughs> Good one, Kaede. You're right. That's true. Well, let's go to the classroom. So we're just gonna stay there all day? What about, like, talking to Miyu? You know? Maybe they have something cool to say. Well, we did- Oh, sorry. <laughs> this is not the classroom. But yeah, what if Miyu's like, um, actually, the sensor only works if you yell uh, noises at it, so... Why- I guess it's like sunset or something? There's like autumn leaves on the window. Oh, whatever. Upon entering the classroom, a wave of anxiety suddenly overwhelmed me. My heart felt like it would beat out of my chest at any moment. Then... Let's keep the door open a little so we can see anyone go into the basement. Uh, yeah... Uh, um... Uh, Kaede, about the security sensor receiver... Hey! Could you hold on to it, please? I just feel like you'd be better suited for that than me. No, 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 no. Ah, there's a power switch on it. Make sure you don't actually turn it off by accident, or else it would destroy our whole plan. Um, so yeah, don't do that. No. No, you hold on to it, Suichi. You're the one who came up with this plan, and I trust um. you. Also, Suichi, you just said I'm better than you at something. Why do you say things like that anyway? Huh? What? You go know? on, Kaede. I guess it's good that we have some time left, because I wanted to talk to you about that. Let's go, Kaede, communicating. Uh, um. Talk to me? We'd love to see it. And when I said talk to you, I meant talk to you. You know? It's probably none of my business, but I think you should be more confident. Right? Especially since the ultimate initiative. Okay, so I think they didn't mention this before, and they're just assuming people know, obviously, because they're ultimates. I guess they would know, but I'm assuming the ultimate initiative is part of the government that decides who the ultimates are. Which is, I guess, is a good thing to know. No. No, really. I shouldn't be the ultimate detective. I'm not even a real detective. Huh? W what do you mean? I'm... I didn't even really want to be a detective. Whoa, the music. My uncle runs a detective business. I would sometimes help out as an apprentice. It was usually... Kyoko? I, I mean, it was usually just cheating couples, background checks. But... But one day, I came across a murder case completely by chance. Uh, um... I solved it before the police did. They called me the boy detective. That's when I got scouted by the ultimate initiative, though I only solved one huh? case. Even so, it's, ama it's still amazing that you solved a murder case. Most people can't do that. No. No. I, I wonder... I wonder if, uh, if it, w it was a really a good thing I solved that case. Hmm... Okay. The look on his face when we caught him. I can still see it even now. He stared at me. Like he hated me more than anything else in the world. I don't know what to tell you, man. He committed the crime. He's gonna hate the person that found out. I mean... Later I heard that he murdered the victim to get revenge for his family. Mm -hmm. The victim was abusive. They drove the culprit's relative to suicide. People told me the culprit was right to do what he did. The victim deserved it. Maybe. But I led the police right to him. Of course he hated me. All right, I can see where your 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 thoughts are like. I That's shouldn't not have true. found him. It's not like you took sides. You uncovered the truth. That's what detectives do, right? That's what I was gonna say, actually. You're right. Yeah, I uncovered the truth, which makes it my fault, and I'm still suffering the consequences. I mean, here's the thing. Uh, it depends on the situation, but it's still the right thing to figure out what happened. I mean, I guess if the laws are unjust, then that's a different story. I don't know. This is too much of a philo philosophical discussion to think about. Discussion. I'm... Ever since that one stupid case, I've been so afraid of uncovering the truth. I'll never forget those eyes, the hatred, the way they stared into me. Uh, um... But also, like, do you really want to live a world like a lie? You don't want to know the truth? Uh, anyway. <clears throat> anyway, that's why I have trouble looking people in the eyes sometimes. That's... Okay, so that's why he wears that hat. I'm... So that's why he was looking at the floor all the time. I'm not a real detective, Kaede. What kind of stupid detective is afraid of finding the truth? Right then, I noticed Shuichi's hands were trembling. I gently reached out and held his hand. Bum, 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 Kaede. 
Whoa, check out this lighting. I wish there was a piano here. I would play you a song to help you cheer up. That's sweet. Hmm, a pretty song okay. to play for you. Oh, like Claire de Lune by Debussy. The what now? It's a soothing song that calms your heart, like the moon's reflection on water. I know that song. It's beautiful, not gonna lie. <laughs> you noticed, huh? Yeah, I'm shaking too. But I'd be a mess if you weren't here. I wouldn't have been able to do anything. I would have been so lost. Oh. I'm glad you're here with me, Shuichi. With you by my side, I feel like I can stand up to anything. You give me the courage I need to take on the mastermind. So please, be more confident. I believe in you, so you should definitely believe in yourself. Dang, that was sweet. Okay, I'll try. I don't know if I can, but I'll try. See, this is the type of speeches Kaede needs to do. Is the one earlier where they were praising them, you know, it was okay, but it wasn't this great. Yep, that's a promise. See, Kaede has some good qualities. We finally found them. After letting go of his hand, I quickly changed the yeah, subject. Yeah, that's right. Also, I think you would look away. <laughs> no, no, Kaede. <laughs> I think you would look way cooler if you didn't wear that hat. Huh? <laughs> what are you talking about? Huh? What? I'm serious here. Once you're out of here, I want you to show me what you look without that hat, okay? Aww. What if he really likes the hat, Kaede, and you just roasted him for it? Jeez, I just want to see everyone smile. That's why you I know? say they look ugly in their hats. I love seeing the- Ah, uh, frick, mm -hmm. frick me! I love seeing the <laughs> expressions people make when they're enjoying themselves. That's why I play piano, to see the smiles on everyone's faces. And that's why we need to expose the mastermind and end this dumb killing game. Right? So we can smile with everyone else. Okay, Kaede. I see your MO. After a serious talk, we talked about this and that to kill some time. That was a good moment. I'm glad we could uh, give Shuichi some confidence. He, he really needed it, to be honest. We did all we could and we prepared for whatever happened next. I was nervous, of course. But all we could do was wait for the moment to arrive. I feel like this is the part where something bad happens. Because of black screen, I don't know. As the time limit drew closer and closer, and then suddenly the moment arrived. All right. What the frick? No, is this a dead body announcement? What is this? What the heck is huh? this? What? What's this weird music? What, is it coming from that monitor? Okay, we see someone drowning. We see everyone hanging by ropes. Oh, it's showing how they're gonna kill everyone, maybe. I don't know. Could it be... Maybe it's a warning that we need to start killing? The time limit's almost up. Yeah, yeah that's what geez. I was thinking. They, they need to stop screwing with us. How much suffering do they want from oh. us? W wait, Kaede! I hear people talking in the hallway. Huh? huh? People talking? Oh, shoot. What's going on? Let's take a peek. I focus my attention to the hallway. I could hear a group of boys and girls talking. Man, Kaede's so lame. <laughs> no, I, I tried my best to listen while I peered through the gap of the classroom door. Okay, everybody going downstairs. Our mastermind plan is ruined. I saw seven boys and girls heading down the stairs. All right, Gonta, Kaito, Maki. Frick, what was her name? I don't remember. Who is that? And the white hair. And the yellow jacket. I don't know. Himiko and Rantaro. Oh, that's Angie, isn't it? Kaito, Gonta, oh, Maki. Well, frick you. Tenko, oh, Tenko. Angie, Himiko, and Rantaro, too? Tenko Chabishira? Was it? The seven continued to walk down the stairs. Well, I think our plan's gonna get ruined, Shuichi, not gonna lie. <laughs> Why? What's a big group like that planning to do? Why didn't they invite us? Rantaro was with them, too. Didn't he say he would end this game? Hmm. It's almost nighttime, right? If they're all heading down to the basement right now. Just in case you forgot what happened like two seconds ago, could the mastermind be with them too? What what makes you think that? One of them is the mastermind? I guess if the mastermind has to come down no. right now. But it's it is unusual for such a big group to all go to the basement. No. They're not planning on going to the library, are they? Are they? That would be bad. They'll scare off the mastermind from using the bookcase and ruin the plan. Huh? I was thinking more like they'll set off the tr the sensors. All right. Also, if they scare off the mastermind, then we won't die. So that's pretty cool if you ask me. Maybe that's their plan. Well, they don't know about the door, so... I'm going to check out the basement. Uh, well, they could have found out, too. It's pretty obvious. I'll come with you. No. No, you stay here and keep watch, Kaede. No, this is not good. 
Suichi, don't die. With that, Suichi dashed out of the classroom. I just, like, felt for you a little bit. Huh? Why am I all alone now? Because Suichi just left you. You have object permanence? Realizing I was alone and the fear and anxiety I was trying to hide rushed back into me. Ah, jeez! Oh, no. And now without Shuichi, we don't have anyone to comfort us. Give us not anxiety. <laughs> I couldn't keep still, so I grabbed the broom from the corner of the classroom. Oh, Jesus. You know what? That's a tactic. I started cleaning for no reason at all. If it calms you down, hey. I had to move my body. The anxiety was getting to me. Aww. Shuichi, please come back already. Oh, gosh. I continued to distract myself with cleaning until Shuichi finally came back. Oh, thank God. Hmm. Huh. Kaede, why are you sweeping? Huh? Huh? Oh, no reason. Why don't you just tell him? Well, maybe that would give him anxiety too. Eh, whatever. Anyway, what about the, what's the, what about the people down in the basement? Uh, okay. Uh, everything is okay. They all went to the game room. Oh, that's good. The game room? Why there? Uh-oh. Ding dong dong ding! Whoa. <laughs> this is a fun little monitor, you know. And in one hour, everyone dies. Hey. It's a nice little timer. Mm. The music is very soothing. I can see why Kaidi was filled with anxiety. <laughs> There's only one hour until the time limit. Uh, yeah, it's almost time. That's true. I'm sure that the Mastermind will make their move soon. If Monokuma is going to show up when the time runs out, the Mastermind will go to the library. Then... Uh-oh. Then it happens so suddenly. Uh. Oh, frick. My heart nearly leapt out of my chest as the receiver in Chuchi's hand suddenly went off. Oh, frick. Shuichi, the receiver! Someone move the bookcase! Hurry, Kaede! Alright. Wait, what are we supposed to do? I guess we're supposed to go down to the library? Shuichi spreads it out the classroom with the determination of a true ultimate detective! <gasps> Wait for me! Alright. Wait, I thought we were supposed to look at the vet. Ah, whatever. I dropped everything I was holding and ran after Shuichi. I could feel my heart beating faster and faster. I was so nervous, my head felt like it was pounding with every heartbeat. Oh, man. I will, I guess... Like, unless there's another vent, we would be able to see them coming through. All right. All right, let's go inside. Yeah. What if it's locked? It would make sense to, for the mastermind to be able to do that. Racing myself to confront the mastermind, I had balled my hands into fists without realizing. It'll be fine. Everything will work out. I was still convincing myself when I caught up to the when I caught up with Suichi, who had his hands at the door. Huh? What are you guys doing here? Ah, oh, Jesus! Please, we got. got we, we do not have time to chat. Well, never mind. Your time is perfect. You should join our strategy meeting. Right. Katie's definitely welcome to join. I huh? don't know we're sorry. Strategy meeting? Yeah. When the time limit hits, we're going to fight Monokuma. We've got a plan for that battle. We thought it'd be harder for Monokuma to get to the basement. So we're going to the game room. Hey. Ho hold on, both of you. Come with us. The mastermind's in uh -huh. the library. Huh? Mastermind? Okay. We'll explain later, but right now, you, we need you to come with us. We might really be able to end this killing game. Are you game. serious? Uh, are you serious? Sneak attack! I don't really understand, but you just need me to Aikido throw at whoever's inside, right? All right! No, I'll do it. I'll be the one to take them down. Uh, this isn't a competition. I'm going to open the door right now, okay? All right. A little bit of a distraction there, but it makes sense. Is, is someone going to be dead in there? Someone's going to be dead in there. <laughs> With the unveiling of the mastermind, so close at hand, all my anxiety had disappeared. Oh, that's good. No. <laughs> okay, I stepped inside the library. Please. Okay, wait, no one's dead. Ah, we didn't come in in time. I walked in. I noticed the moving bookcase at the end of the room was slowly closing. Come on, guys. Why did they get distracted? Just, you should have just ran and opened the door. But there was no sign of the mastermind. The moving bookcase had closed on its own without any outside help. Hmm. Where is the mastermind? Bow, 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 bow. We quickly walked towards the moving bookcase, and then not too far from the moving... No. We saw... Please? No. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it. Oh, it's a shot. Pup ball. No. Is it Rantaro? It is. Oh, dang. That's a shame. He was very mysterious, but we had Taro and Mommy, who had yet to reveal his ultimate talent to the rest of us. But hey, good prediction for me, though. Lay dead on the ground. <laughs> At least it wasn't Suiji. I was, I was starting to really think they would have killed off Suiji. <laughs> well, I wasn't really attached to him in any way, especially since he was being kind of a jerk a little bit. 
but it's really a shame. But you'll have to see how the investigation goes in the next episode. Bye.